Alice. Ayun na. Okay. okay, Miss Ali. Okay, game. Parang this seems to be a very interesting film. Nag-shoot kayo sa green, eh? yes. green land. Mm -hmm. Why there? What's so special about Nook? Nook ba Nook? Nook, Nook, Nook. Nook is the capital of Greenland. Doon sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam. Yes. And doon po uh, nakatara yung character ko. Her name is Eliza Svensson. She's married to a Danish man. Uh, doon, uh, also, it's important to know that Greenland is a territory, uh, autonomous, yes, autonomous Denmark. region of Denmark. Denmark yeah. So, maraming, maraming Danish na katerotor, maraming Greenlandic. Actually, I like it ang bango eh. Greenlandic. Um, Inuit Indians, uh, meron din population na minority like Filipinos who work as, who work, uh, as nurses and most, most, some in the hospitality industry, ganyan, but it's a very isolated place. Talagang, I, I would never think in my whole life na hakarating ako ng Greenland. Mm. Uh -oh. At mag-shoot? Uh -huh. May KFC. May Tagalog. Ah, may Tagalog stores. Mga sa totoo lang, I never had a chance to open my my television. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa schedule namin. Mm -hmm. At saka sandali, may television ba sa loob ng kwarto? Ah, yeah. meron pala. <laughs> that's, that's how I, you know, I was just reading my script lang. I was looking at the news sa telephone ko. So, parang hindi ko masyado pinapansin yung, ano, yung television. Pero siguro meron bang TFC doon? Wala. 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 Oh, so, wala. In, uh, the answer to that, pero if you wanted to subscribe, pwede. Yung mga Filipinos can subscribe. Residence. So, obviously, Miss Alice, Alice. The, the, the location is a big part of the story. Very remote. Mm -hmm. Very remote. It's a big part of the story. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oo, because dun siya nakatera. Mm -hmm. And dun nagkakilala si, si Aga at si Alice. His mm -hmm. character's name naman was Mark. Mm -hmm. Um... And, and then, dun nag-unfold na yung And Mark kwentos. is? Mark is a stranger mm -hmm. who she who she befriends. Mm -hmm. And ma makikita mo naman sa trailer. Oh. Parang may something. May something. <laughs> Without giving it away. Oh, oh. May something. Uh, Alice, so how did you get the role? Did you audition for it? Actually, uh, I was sent a script. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, produced by an independent pr producer. Hindi ko siya talaga kilala. Although, uh, because malitang mundo natin, mm -hmm. we always cross uh, uh, each other's path. So, um, he's heard of me uh, and uh, I think he worked on one of my previous parang shows before. Pero hindi kami talaga magkakilala. The script was sent over. <coughs> Tapos, nabasa ko. And then uh, Renesel, my coordinator, said, "Gusto po i-present sa inyo ng formal." Mm -hmm. So I said, "Kung pagkabasa ko kasi nagustuhan ko na siya kaagad." Mm -hmm. So there, I said, "There's no need to present it. I accept." Mm -hmm. Sabi, so uh, tumatawag ulit yung si Lucky, yung producer, to say, "No, gusto nilang yao, oh, gusto nila i pag-usapan yung role and every." I said, "No need. I will accept." <laughs> so because I was actually, oh, oh I was. I was already busy because doing two shows with ABS at the mm -hmm. time. Wala din akong oras para makipag-meet. Mm -hmm. So sinabi ko na lang, oh schedule na natin yan. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's, there's, ako kasi when I don't have a manager eh. Mm -hmm. So if I like something, uh, pag, pwedeng pag-usapan. Like um, schedule, uh, logistics, uh, talent fee, ganyan, ganun lang. And, but then if I accept something in principle, Yun na yun. Mm -hmm. So, ayun, the next time that I met was with Aga na. Mm -hmm. So, sit down na with sila Boss Vic, with Lucky, with um, some people from Viva. And then, ayun na, nag-usap na kami. Oh, schedule, ano na to ha? We are, we're, oh, shooting na tayo. And we're like, okay, okay. So, and then it, it really came together very easily. Um, and everybody was so happy and excited mm -hmm. to do it. When did you go to Greenland? Mm -hmm. We went to yon? Greenland in April of 2017. So, mm -hmm. Please correct me, ha? Tama ba ko? April of 2017, tayo nagpunta. Mm -hmm. okay. ah, sorry, 2018. <laughs> sorry! Okay, okay. So, um... Super labig pa by, the, still, by that time. It was still... Anong weather? Pa... Pa, pa, fall? pa fall? No, sorry. Oh, pa, pa spring, spring na siya. Oh. 
pero winter pa. Mm -hmm. So malamig na malamig pa rin. Mm -hmm. So our coldest we weather was negative 12 degrees mm -hmm. with a feel of 20 degrees wind wow. factor. Wow. So if you're outside on the coast, mm -hmm. you're feeling negative 20. Wow. Yes. So, the first day that I arrived, it was negative 20. Mm. Tapos nagaya sila sa akin na, Oy, let's go see the, ano, the Aurora Borealis, ah. Northern Lights. Did Malang, you see? Lalabas ngayong gabi. Mm. Mm. Eh, kakarating ko lang. It was almost a 24-hour flight from Manila. Kasi may stopover oh, pa sa Middle East, may stopover pa sa De Denmark, may stopover pa sa... Uh, Kangar Lusak, it's a place near uh, Nook. Nook. So almost 24 hours. So pagdating ko ng gabi, pagod na pagod ako. Sabi ko, I really want to go. Can I go another time? Mm -hmm. So sabi nila, okay, okay. And then, guess what? It appeared. Every, it appeared. Everybody saw it. And mm -hmm. you were sleeping. And I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And then, the next few days, <laughs> hindi na siya <laughs> nag-appear. Hindi siya meant. And then, so... so uh, what about Aga? Hindi rin, wala rin. I don't know. You have uh, to ask okay. Aga kung nakita mm -hmm. niya. So, ang ginawa ko, gumawa ko ng paraan para makita ko siya. Mm -hmm. So, research ko online kasi merong palang uh, app or merong mobile data, mm -hmm. uh, online data, how to see. Not just how to see it, but where it will appear. Kung kailan. Oo, and what are the best conditions. Ginagamit ng mga scientists yun. Oh, wow. Mahirap hanapin yun kasi it's very puro data. But anyway, so they said that it would appear from... Uh, midnight to 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. So, syempre, labas kami. Uh, labas ako with my staff. Uh, tatlo kami. And we were freezing. It's freezing, it's freezing, it's freezing. And we're in the car. Ako lang nag-drive. Hiniram ko lang yung sasakyan. <laughs> para tumakas. makita ko, tumakas kami from the hotel. And then, we're looking up in the sky. We went to a place na walang lights talaga. We're just sitting there. Syempre, it's cold. It's freezing. Sila, bubang parang sasakyan. Ako nasa sasakyan lang. Naka-heater lang. Uh -huh. Waiting. Wala. Siguro ilang oras hindi pa rin siya nagpakita. Uh -huh. So then, we were going home luhaan. <laughs> and then as I was driving, I looked up and I said, What's that? Huh? <laughs> and then, biglang bumaba kami. And then we looked at it, konting lang. Like, oh, parang, um, parang nagpatokso lang siya. Mm -hmm. Na green na uh, nasa sky. Mm -hmm. They tried to take video of it, but of course, you can't see it. Uh -oh. So, parang nag, nagpa, naawa lang siya sa akin. <laughs> para sa amin. Pinapil lang. Pinapil lang. Pinapil lang. And then, yun. Para masabi ko, maikwento ko sa inyo <laughs> na nakita ko. <laughs> nakita ko kahit pa paano. So, yun. Yun ang... Yun ang long and short How, of, of what uh -oh. it was like the first day. How long did you stay in ano? We stayed about... Actually, hindi naman. Parang it was almost like 20 days lang. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Short and because... Siyempre, when, when you're on a budget, mm -hmm. you want to condense the days mm -hmm. and also yung flights namin mm -hmm. fixed na. We, it was expensive, di ba? To fly mm -hmm. 20 people to Greenland with mm -hmm. camera equipment, yeah. with uh, with all the costumes, with all not knowing what to expect. Talagang it was a first na masasabi kong I'm very proud to be a part of this first na ginawa, mm -hmm. na ginawa namin sa Greenland. First ever of its kind movie na 80% shot in the Arctic Circle. Kasi kasama yung Greenland sa Arctic Circle eh. You know, oh, okay. Russia, Alaska, oh, okay. polar bears. Ay, nako. But, and I'm fa a little familiar with the weather kasi di ba sa Canada ako oh, oh. Uh, tumira ng yes. matagal. So, it wasn't so bad for me. Pero, syempre, for the first-timers na we're so lucky, the first-timers na kasama kong Filipino crew, we're so lucky because tinulungan kami ng um, mga Filipino din sa Nook mismo. They, they showed us where to buy yung proper uh, footwear, yung yung panloob namin, yung jacket, kasi talagang what we wear here, na akala nyo for winter, uh, no. hindi appropriate sa sub-zero temperature oh, oh. doon. Super thermal, ganyan. 
the yes. heating. Ano. Yes, and then you have to have a waterproof layer. You mm. have to close kasi in layer first is mm. for mm. Uh, breathable, warm, mm. then uh, insulation, then waterproofing. Mm. So, marami pong layers pag bibigyan. So, Miss Alice, what did you find so special about the story? Na you agreed agad na. Di ba sabi mo, pumay ka agad. Di pa yes. kayo nag gusto, gusto mo na agad. Na Kasi habang minabasa ko yung script, napipicture ko what it's like to be isolated mm -hmm. and what it's like to live so far away. Yung parang, mm -hmm. I just saw it, the way that it was written, mm -hmm. napipicture ko na sa mata ko and I could see how beautiful this story could be, mm -hmm. right? How beautiful, how much potential it had. And because I wanted to be part of the first dito sa ating mm -hmm. uh, Philippine cinema, mm -hmm. uh, ako. It, it's, it's a lot of things combined. Uh, combined. Aside from si Aga, of course, kasama mm -hmm. ko. Aga, nakasama ko ng matagal na. Even mm -hmm. when I was, I started, um, we were, I was 17 nung nakasama ko si Aga. Huh? So that's, oh, that's about over 30 years ago na. What's that movie? Uh, this was for Batang Ama. Ah, okay. Miguelito. Miguelito. Oh, ang ganda nun, di ba? So, I was one of his kalaw team at the time. And, right? Oo. So, um, is Aga here? No. We'll just do a little short interview. Anyways, last two, and then we'll be back with the, with the, ano na. We'll be back for the real, real impression. This one is Chica Chica, and then you eat first. Chica Chica, Okay, so what? Last two questions. What's the uh, what was oh, I saying? Oh, okay, working with Aga, Aga. now. Oh, so uh, si Aga, kasi when I was younger, talagang ang galing niyang umarte na napahanga ako. He was like the Even actor. Even before. Yes, he was the actor of his generation to reckon with, and alam kong ginagroom siya ng direct Mario, who we all love, de ba? Direct Mario J. Dolores Reyes, the late Mar uh, direct Mario, and. Even if he was just a teenager, you could see how talented he was. Raw, yung talent niya. So I knew that uh, working with him from the beginning, growing up with him as a teenager, masaya yung reunion namin. And that's what it was. All throughout, it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Second question. Ano yung pinakang hindi malilimutan experience mo nung nasa book ka? Ah, yung sayawan namin ni Aga. Mm -hmm. Meron ako mga behind the scenes na ipapublish ko din sa YouTube ko. Mm -hmm. Yung mga behind the scenes namin, sumasayaw kami in between takes at saka nagkakantahan kami ng mga 80s songs. Mm -hmm. And it was just fun. Kasi it, we were, it, I was so privileged to be able to work with him again. Mm -hmm. Na meron kaming pinagsamahan. And then again now, after so many years, it was just as fun again. Okay. Okay. Mamaya ulit ha. Ito na. Ito na. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.